So sections can be done here under the Analyze tool. So if I pick the bottom line and create a section, I have the ability to specify the viewing direction. Am I looking at it up or am I looking at it down on screen or if I'm standing forward looking to the, the features? So I'll look at it in this uh, direction and I'll pull my um, cross section down beneath the drawing. I'm going to make a quick change to my Y grid, grid range and interval. So there's full flexibility in here to be able to take a look at modifying where we're starting our um, graphing and where we're ending it as well as changing the interval. So I'm going to actually start by changing the interval down to a 5 meter major, 2.5 meter, meter minor on the uh, Y axis. And I'll start my range from 75 and I'll end it at, I think 90 should be sufficient vertically here. And back under the cross-section elements, I'm going to adjust my vertical scale for this uh, graphing, this cross-section, to 10 to 1. And so what we can see is the first existing ground surface at that cross-section on the, uh, the highest geometry. The next one is my subgrade layer 1, and then the bottom is subgrade layer 2. And we can see here now where the 3D property line hits on the surface here. We can see the depth just outside of the property line of the storm sewer running on the north-south. Here we can see the gas line going through and the other portion of the storm sewer. So we get all of these details that can or can be, can be displayed or turned off in the view by these draw options for elements to draw. So if I turn off the feature lines here, they go away from my display in the section. If I turn off my subgrade layers, I have the ability to control for all of them. 